This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at transesterification. We'll start by looking at the structure of vegetable oils. Vegetable oils are composed of triglycerides that consist of a glycerol backbone and three fatty acids. Here we have the reaction for the formation of a triglyceride. In the reaction, one molecule of glycerol reacts with three fatty acids to form a triglyceride and three molecules of water. This reaction is a condensation or esterification reaction. So here on the left, we have a molecule of glycerol, which has the IUPAC name propane 123 triol On the right, we have a fatty acid molecule, which has a long hydrocarbon chain with a carboxyl group on one end. This example is a saturated fatty acid with carbon to carbon single bonds and is called steric acid. The energy content of vegetable oils is similar to that of regular diesel fuel. However, vegetable oils cannot be used as fuels in unmodified diesel engines as they are too viscous. The high viscosity is due to their high molar mass and the intermolecular forces that exist between the fatty acid chains of the triglycerides that make up vegetable oils. Vegetable oil can be converted into a usable fuel, known as biodiesel, in a transesterification reaction. In a transesterification reaction, the triglycerides in the vegetable oil react with alcohol, in this case it's methanol, in the presence of a strong base such as sodium hydroxide to form glycerol and methyl ester. The methyl ester is also known as biodiesel. In the reaction, an excess of alcohol is used to drive the position of equilibrium to the right in favour of the products. And here we have the general equation for the reaction. Next, we'll compare a biodiesel molecule with a diesel molecule. As you can see, they are both quite similar, each consisting of about 16 carbon atoms. However, the biodiesel molecule has an ester group, which is bonded to a methyl group, hence the name methyl ester. The three alkyl ester molecules produced have similar energy content to triglycerides, but are less viscous and are therefore suitable for use in diesel engines. The lower viscosity is due to their lower molar mass and the weaker intermolecular forces that exist between the molecules. Biodiesel for use in diesel engines can be made in a transesterification reaction from waste cooking oils or from crops such as rapeseed oil. Biodiesel is much less toxic and more biodegradable than regular diesel fuel.